Hi there, guys. Hope everybody is okay out there in YouTube land. It's just Dan from Dan's Haunted Cottage reporting in on a drizzly, miserable, even though it was forecast as a pretty nice Saturday morning. Um, just can't trust those weather people. Really can't trust them. Meteorologists, whatever they call themselves. Big posh names. Haven't got a clue. Right, anyway, so I'm making a video today because I want to talk to you about my van, Kez. I no longer own Kez. Kez is no longer in my possession. Kez has, well, I don't know where Kez is, to be honest. And um, the reason I haven't got Kez anymore is that, as you guys know, I was ongoing quite a few electrical, electrical problems with her. And I thought that it was down to the battery. So I changed the battery four times, still to no avail. Um, what is it Einstein said? The definition of madness is trying the same thing over and over again, but getting the same results. And that was what I was doing with Kez, with the battery. So I decided that the only way around it was to actually bite the bullet and take her in. Now I'd had auto electric, um, yeah, auto electric, auto electrical or electrical mechanics, I don't know. Auto electric mechanics, whatever they're called. I had three of them look at her, nothing. Couldn't work out what the problem was. So I bit the bullet and I took her into um, to a garage uh, that I trust. And um, yeah, there aren't that many of them, are there? Um, so I took her into this garage that I trust. And the guy went through her and he said that she had a sort of a whole compilation, a whole backlog of electrical problems because the lights were playing up. There's just a few things that were getting worse and worse as, as it, uh, gradually as it went on. So he said to me, it would take an awful long time to get her back to square one and it would take an awful lot of money. And how much money did I want to keep plying into her? Um, so I decided to sort of sadly say farewell and cut ties with Kez. It breaks your heart breaks my heart but I had no option it was either that or just uh, put money into a money pit so but have no fear because Dan has still got a camper van yes he has Dan has gone out and he's sort of part x Kez against another camper van now the one that I've got is considerably smaller than Kez um, this one is called Maisie and she is a yellow T5 VW. She's 2003, so she's not a young lady, but she is in tip top spec. She's absolutely spot on. Not what I would call immaculate, but not far off of immaculate. And I have fell head over heels and in love with her. In actual fact, thinking about it, she's probably better for me than, than Kez was because Kez was. The kids weren't really interested in going camping. Uh, I think they got that from their mum because Hayes was not really interested in going camping. But they're okay with going out. Now the thing is, I couldn't really take them out in Kez because there was only two really two no three seats in it with seat belts, and there are four of us. Plus, we also have to get Lily in. Lily's my lurcher because we're not leaving her at home, not for any money. Um, so we decided that I decided that yes, I would, I would bite the bullet and, and get the T5. Uh, as I say, she's a little corker, absolutely beautiful. She hasn't got as much room as Kez, but she's perfect for what I want. She's perfect for going away, camping, uh, because most of it, not all of the camping, I'll be doing on my own anyway. And uh, yeah, she's, she's got everything I need. She comes fully kitted out. In actual fact, the guy that owned her prior to me had really spent an absolute fortune on getting her to the point that she's at and when I say a fortune I mean he, he's he's spent a lot of money on it so yeah so I want you to meet Maisie and I'll show you her in a second right guys so here's Maisie I'm sorry it's such a wet horrible day out here but there she is look at those meaty monster wheels so I'll get some better footage of her in a minute but to uh, give you an idea this is her. She's very cold. There's a little scar there, but nothing to worry about. It's the other side of her there, obviously. Meaty wheels. So we'll pop inside in a second and have a proper, proper good look at her. Right, so take no notice of the inside. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it's got some beautiful... Uh, it's got a um, rock and roll bed there. There's a cabinet underneath. There's a cabinet on, above it. It's all been professionally done by a proper professional uh, camper van fitters. I think it was done by VW itself, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So it's got the fridge down there, which, do you remember the trouble the guys had 
or not trouble, but the amount of work and effort they put into putting the fridge in my old van into um, into Kez. Well, this was their standard in her in Maisie. So you got the sink unit up there, double burner, lots of storage, tons of storage actually, and uh, cider that didn't come with the van. That's my little uh, acquisition. There's a little TV up there, but there's lots of uh, rubbish in here and that stuff at the minute because I'm trying to sort the stuff out that I need and don't need. So yeah, it's pretty cool. She also came with. Hang on, so she also around. came with an inflate inflatable inflatable um, awning, which is a drive away one, which is um, I think they're about four or five hundred quid. So yeah, so that was that was a pretty cool thing to find in the back of her when I bought her. Um, yeah, she's all she's off grid sort of thing. She can, she, you know, she can sustain herself on her own. She's got the leisure battery, obviously. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a TV in here. Um, so yeah, she's she's all singing, all dancing, as I would say. So she's my perfect love. Um, as I say, I will miss Kez, but what can you do? Unfortunately, it was one of those situations where I had to pull the trigger. I didn't want to, but uh, I didn't have any option. So. Que sera, sera, as they say. Um, I don't want to sound flippant about it because I'm not. I'm absolutely gutted that Kez went because I loved Kez. But, you know, in the absence of Kez, I've now got Maisie. And uh, so all's well that ends well, I hope. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Not much of a tour. I'll show you the front in a minute uh, so you can get a proper look at the front of her, the cab. Um, well, not so much the cab. You know what the cab of a T4 looks like? Look. It looks Show like you. that, a pretty bog standard cab. The only thing that's not in her is a radio, a stereo. Now, I'm not bothered about CDs, don't really listen to them, but it would be nice to have a DAB stereo put in, so I'm going to get that fitted into her and then go from there. She's even got, look at that, she's even got a pool ball, um, a pool ball uh, gear knob. So that's pretty cool. Little things that please me, eh? Little things that please me. Best way to be, as my mum used to say. I think she was just uh, pacifying me, really. But yeah, so this is this is her in all her glory. She's an absolute stonker, absolute stunner, and I am in love with her. And woe we'll be tired, them kids, if they get any mess on those seats, for I will beat them like a drum. I think that's the other way around, really. It's them that beats me. Anyway, I'll show you the front. Granted, there's not a lot of headroom in here, but I don't need it. Absolutely don't. Um, you know why? Why stand when you can sit is my old motto, and why sit? Why sit when you can lay down? That's what I go by. That's the golden rule of Dan there. But um, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there's enough headroom for me. There's, there's, I can get a cigarette paper between me and the top. No, I can get quite a bit. It's not too bad. It's not. I'm not touching the. Mm, not far off of it, but I'm not touching it. But there's still. I mean, for me, it's perfect. There's plenty of room, and I've got a little stall. So if I want to cook anything, <laughs> me cook anything. Um, then obviously I can I can just put the stall in front of the cooker, the sink, and it's done. And it's a fold-up stall, so it takes up no room whatsoever. So yeah, that's cool. All good. Let's have a look at the front. I keep promising. Don't get round to it. Let's do it now. This is the this is the front of the van. But Dan is so desperate to show you. He keeps saying he'll show you. He's waving. There he is, waving. What a twat. <laughs> 